This was funded by NYSERDA, and it's being built for the uh, State University of New York Solar Energy Center uh, located in Farmingdale, New York. And it's basically uh, going to be used as a, a training fixture for uh, students who want to learn some of the basics about uh, installing solar uh, collectors and uh, installing the electronics and also the plumbing systems. Uh, it should also give them some hands-on experience uh, so they can understand the difference between a closed loop system and an open loop system and uh, the significance of a drain back system and a trickle down system and so on like that. Uh, anyway, um, what I'm primarily interested in using this for is a comparison fixture. So we compare uh, different uh, collector designs and uh, calculate their efficiencies. We're trying to keep as many factors the same as possible. Uh, so if we put them side by side, at least we're going to have the same ambient temperature and the same amount of sunlight on both collectors. Now as far as flow rate goes, uh, that's that's another problem with these two collectors because this collector, this MTD collector, works uh, has an optimal flow rate that's much lower than uh, this uh, serpentine collector. So what we need in order to calculate collector efficiency is we have to know the temperature of the water entering the collector and the temperature of the water leaving the collector and we also need to know the flow rate of the water. Uh, these are important factors for uh, understanding the amount of heat that we can collect. But we also need one other factor, and that has to do with the amount of sunlight that's available. And we can estimate that with this uh, solar flux monitor right here. I don't know if you can see that. All right, so before we bring these collectors outside in the sun and see how much heat they can gather, we have to know the flow rate of each pump. Uh, this pump on this side is for the serpentine collector, and the uh, other pump goes to the MTD collector. Ticking off the seconds, we want to see how long it takes to get to the half gallon mark. Well, that's just about 30 seconds, 35, 36, 37, just about 38 seconds. Waiting 
of it So they can last Time is intangible It isn't something That you can grasp Time isn't everything It's what you make of it Make it